Yeah, guys, that was the quarter. The clock is not official. It's being kept down on the field. Oh, it's good to know. Thank you very much. We, we're thinking it's official up here. So we have 6 nothing at the end of the first quarter. Conley has, throws, has his man out here. Close to a first down. Fletcher. Jimmy, I think you're right. I think they're going to be looking to work on the, uh, the corners of uh, Westwood. Yeah, there's no, there's no question. They're targeting number 34. I guess he's their, what they feel is their most experienced corner. And, uh, you you know, as an offense, you would look to, to attack that. So we'll keep an eye on that as the game goes on. A lot of room on that side. Second and short. Here's like, this one for a long pitch. Pitch out. Oh. There's a fumble, and the ball rolls out of bounds. I think we have to wait for We can't see down here. That was Weber. That was Weber. The ball was came dropped. out of his hand. Yeah. And let's see where they spot it. Well, it looks like about two yards for a first. Short two. Third down. Yeah, third down, and the mark has it. Mark has a move, so third and two. Now, Larry, you got to use your big fullback once again. Yeah, it looks like that. Up the middle. Because they're big up front. So third down and two for uh, Riverdale. Will Tomino get the ball? <clears throat> no, he doesn't. Conley no. gets it. Conley's enough for a first down. Well, that's, I tell you, that quarterback, when you run this kind of option, Jimmy, you would know better than Webster, because you coach it. He's quarterback. He has to have tremendous hands to put the ball in the in stomach of the running back and take it back, right? Tremendous hands, <laughs> tremendous ability to read the defense because he's doing it at full speed. It's like watching Oklahoma, Texas, and Nebraska back in the 70s. Yeah, he's, he's running that option because you have to read what the, uh, the, the defensive end is doing. If the defensive end cracks down, you, you keep it. Defensive end stays outside, you give it to the fullback. Inside handoff. And it goes around the right eight. side. Big hole. Ten. Number eight, Number when Lanza. Lanza picks and that's up. That's not Mario yards. Lanza no. either. <laughs> ten yards from Mr. Lanza. <laughs> For all you Italian people out there. <laughs> <laughs> Great, great fake though. Great fake by number 22. Let's see now. They're gonna first down. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a first down, but I don't count. And that, of course, was Matt Lanza. Hey, the great Pat Rice is here covering the game for uh, NJ.com. He's standing on a bench right in front of us. Where we'll get him before the. And you'll see a little duet, Mario and Alec Lanza later on. <laughs> Conley calling signals. Ball's fumbled Ball around. And a nice pickup. Get the about number down here. Yeah, about a half a yard. But well, he was that, was a, that was a six, seven yard loss as Weber was able to pick the ball up and save six, seven yards. And that was number 44, Gallagher on a stop. That's one of the things, Jimmy, when you have this option, the ball can go, can be put on the ground. There's no question, ball security becomes a big issue. So far, they put it on the turf twice. They've been fortunate enough to recover it twice. So second down and eight for Riverdale. Conley calling signals, he's looking, pitches forward, and that's a forward <coughs> pass. I'm gonna believe that's a forward pass as he pitches yeah, forward. Lost about a yard. It's a shovel pass, it's coming back, complete pass. So it's gonna bring up third and nine. Got 9.27 to go, six nothing. Riverdale leads as Conley took a one yard dive, probably more like six inches, but they missed the PAT. And that's where we are, six nothing here. Look, <clears throat> they're all taking a look at the offensive coordinator, which is DJ Nymphius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, when they get in this empty set, you really have to be worried about this quarterback taking off, quarterback draw, or just scrambling. Conley looking, gonna be inside, <laughs> out here. And he gets a bubble away. Screen. Bubble screen, he gets away. Thought he might have been dropped for a loss, Fletcher, but he was able to pick up a couple of yards, and it's going to bring up a fourth down, and I'm sure. Two yards. I, I'm sure it's going to be fourth. He's going to go for it. Yeah, no, he punt. can't kick a field goal at this distance. I don't think he's going to punt. So it's fourth down and four for Riverdale. They're going to have a fourth down play. They had, they completed, and they had one fourth down play, and they made it. Oh. And well, there's they got it with the penalty. And they got it with the <coughs> penalty. Nice call, Conley. <laughs> little changes, change changes cadence. Sure, the Caden. Both sides. 
So they pick up the first down on the penalty and have a first and 10 on the 35 yard line of Westwood as they driving for another score. Guys, not only is it they're driving for a score, they were also keeping offenses, uh, Westwood's offense off the field. So that's exactly what they want. You gotta do here. Westwood's been scoring 40 points a game. You wanna keep that offense on the sideline. You can see uh, Coach Campanelli there just watching the line, watching the play, just to see what's... That's a nice play from the backside as Bellion chipped him up. Looks like yep. number 23, who's been doing a great job for Westwood today and in replace the defensive end position once again, uh, Hopkins. So Hopkins quarterbacks and plays defensive end. Yeah, yep. And he's he's got about 25 tackles for the year. He's in for Munoz. He went in the first quarter. He was in for Munoz. It's Hop Hopkins. Right. Catch out. Weber gets knocked out of bounds. We'll see where the spot is. We can't see because the kids no, are in right front now. of right now. But you can see about three yards uh, to go for a first down. Now here they're close to field goal. Field goal range, but I think range. they're thinking of four because they got Westwood on their heels right now. You feel that down there, Jimmy? Yeah, that's definitely four down territory. Third and three, a third and a long three. And it's yeah, almost two, four. It's gonna take two, they'll take two shots to get this. If you're Westwood, you wanna put him in third and long. Third and four is very manageable with this offense. I mean, he's fighting and strong in his right. He looks like, he, he plays a lot like you know, Westwood's Gallagher. You know, John, Absolutely. he may be the heart and soul of that team. As Without he a doubt. his way into the middle. Short, they were probably fourth down and less than a yard, let's see. Yeah, it looks like that. Oh my goodness. They got, they got to get to the white, they got to get to the strike. Well, now you got all kinds of options with 22. You know, when you look at Conley and this young man is gonna be one of the better, he is one of the better quarterbacks in, in the county. He's a junior, too. He's a junior. A junior. Come back next year. He'll only get better. <laughs> this is now a fourth and less than one. And Mon Monaghan, 44. Here's a pitch to Weber. They, did, they had an option on fourth and less than one, and they converted it to Weber. That's that triple offense. You know, when you see this, you see this perfected like they are, um, Riverdale, you really can sit back and say, wow, that's a good offense. Everybody has to stay and, and hold, you know. You can see the big Hawks as the cheerleaders are cheering. The Golden Hawks. The Golden Hawks from Riverdale. So now it's first and 10. Ball's on about the 18-yard line. Conley calling signals. Ends it. Conley keeps it, staying on his feet, and falls forward for a couple. He made nothing, he made about three yards out of absolutely nothing. And once again, Hopkins and 44 Gallagher make the stop, but the Golden Hawks have their way. Three, four yards a clip. And as Jimmy mentioned, the clock keeps ticking, Jim. Tick, 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 tick. It's three, 6.30 in the half, and West was had, what, three possessions and maybe eight <coughs> plays, nine yeah. plays? The best, the best defense is a good offense. I've heard that before. Yeah, someone <laughs> said that, right? <laughs> That's a beautiful Finally statement. looking, fires, has his man. It's open, a missed tackle, and drop for a first, first down. down. Way out there, I think it looks, I'm trying to do it, is it Weber, yeah? Yep, Weber on the reception. So here you go, you run, 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 all of a sudden you throw a nice little screen, uh, side sideline pass, and a first down. Looks like the seven, eight yard line. So it's first in goal from the seven, as we get to the six minute mark of the half. Riverdale leads six nothing, and they're looking for more. And Bobby Maines back there to the right <laughs> of the referee. Inside hand up the middle, touchdown, Matt Lanza, right up the middle. Eight yard touchdown as Matt Lanza, didn't, not Mario, Matt Lanza for the touchdown. So the, the clock continues to run. <laughs> well, I the clock's run. not official. Yeah. I, so, Lanza runs it in, and they go up now as well. TD. Yeah. It's all been it's all been all. Yeah, it's all been Riverdale as they knock the ball through. 13. And what we have on the scoreboard, five minutes and 49. Wait, they're calling, wait, time out. <coughs> is a flag on the play. Hang on, let's see. 
Personal foul against Riverdale. Riverdale. So they're going to probably that, tack that onto the kickoff. So they come, will. When we come back, it's 13 to nothing. There's five minutes and 49 seconds on the scoreboard. We did not have the exact time. Oh, there goes the uh, the sky. We're expecting rain. I think the rain will hold off for the game. We have 5:49 on the clock. It's, that's going to be close to what the uh, time is. So Riverdale was uh, penalized for that unsportsmanlike conduct and they're kicking off from the 25, a line drive kick coming down. Good half, picked up. Belly, there he goes, <coughs> still on his feet as he gets across the 50 yard line. To about the 47. And, and so Bellion brings it up. Now Westwood is down 13 nothing. they gotta do something. Alvarez made the saving stop. Well, that could have gone the distance. Great field position for the Cardinals. Saunders comes in for Westwood, so he'll be taking the snap on this play. You know, guys, I keep mentioning to myself in my head, I wonder how much these three tough games in a row are starting to take its toll on Westwood. Well, you know, it, 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 it can, it can, you know. It really can, mentally. There's Saunders. And he, he banked his way for about, about three yards. But you know, Jim and John, and those who got to say that the uh, Riverdale is playing an outstanding defensive game. Not Absolutely. only offense, they're playing defense. They are in the right position that for all of Westwood's play so far. That was Vigner on making the stop 79. So you're right, they're playing. And there's a flag on the play. <coughs> as it looks like against yeah, offensive yeah. illegal procedure. Baez went into the <coughs> hole. Procedure against Westwood. <coughs> Or false star, whatever you want to call it. If you watch the referee mouth it. <laughs> Guys, I think we're starting to see how valuable the heart and soul is to this offense. Yeah, that, you know, Gallagher is uh, not playing on offense, he's playing defense. And Well, you may see him play offense in a second half. <laughs> you might see something. <laughs> so it's gonna be a uh, second down and 11 for the Cardinals of Westwood. We're about the five minute mark. Trips to, trips to the right, and we have a whistle on the field. Timeout. And it looks like that Westwood has called a timeout. So when we come back, we have approximately five minutes to go in the half. Riverdale leads Westwood 13 to nothing. <laughs> Second and 12 now. <laughs> Clock is just about right, 4.58. <clears throat> Long pass downfield. And Morganson goes up and catches it across the 25-yard line. Guys, Riverdale <laughs> could not have defended that play any yeah. better. That's just a tremendous they throw had, and a tremendous catch by Noel Morganson. They yeah. had three. They had three defenders on him that time going up on that play. So Westwood picks up a first down as they get to the 25-yard line. Pass out here, and it's Another caught catch. by who's that? Let me get that number there. Number one. Number oh, one. Oh. oh. So Westwood on First the arm. First and goal on the eight yard line. No, they moved it back to the nine. On the arm of uh, Hopkins, it's down to the button. They moved it to the nine yard line. First and, and goal. And it looks like a timeout. Oh, maybe not. I no, thought, I don't think so. I thought Hopkins sort of gave the timeout sign, but no. <laughs> so this is big right here if you're a Cardinal rooter. They need to score to get back into this game. Borgensen, Hull, out to the left. <coughs> Kept by Saunders, goes to the goal in. line, and he's touchdown. in! I Eight believe yards. he's in, yes, he's in. Eight yard run by Saunders. So Saunders off the left side, and Westwood marches down the field on a couple of passes and a run, and they get into the end zone and get on the scoreboard, and now trail 13 to six. Guys, that's a huge drive for Westwood just to get their feet settled. Uh, and, you know, now they're right back in the ball game. If they kick the extra point here, there's a touchdown and an ex uh, extra point away from the lead. There's a kick, by cycle, it's up, and it is good. So Westwood has scored and has now made it with four minutes and six seconds to go, a 13 to seven game. You are watching WCTV, the all-volunteer group from the township of Washington, and there is the bird.
And the cheerleaders are cheering as Westwood is back into this game with the big score by Saunders. And, and you know, a touchdown, by the way. And you know, Saunders. fellas, just to bring some, we got a minute, we'll talk about it. We were on the field and we saw the AD of Westwood, Danny Vavino, bring out a football in a bird cage, and it's yeah. called, this is called the, the Hawks of, Golden Hawks of Riverdale against the Cardinals of Westwood. This is the bird bowl. And the, the, the football was in a birdcage, and the winner takes that home. Now, no one says who started this. Dennis Nelson, the AD here, said he don't know who started. Wow. Danny Vivino is the first year AD. He says, I don't know who started. We have two John, mascots. But, John, who started it? Probably the two mascots. <laughs> we got a bird and a golden hawk. <laughs> who started the bird bowl? I have no idea, but... It's a, it's a great idea with I the totally two schools. I totally agree. They're very close to each other, and both named after birds. <laughs> the bird bowl. Cycle look kicks this kick. downfield. To the one. <laughs> well, almost to the end zone, which will bring it out. We got a flag on the play. Probably holding. Like the holding or holding, yes, holding. All right. That'll back them about to the 10-yard line. That was Aiden Morell, the uh, run back, so that's going to be brought back. So Westwood, I'm sorry, Riverdale will have about four minutes to go yeah. in the, the half. There's the bird. This is the bird ball. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That football looks in trouble, though. He's inside a cage. It's in a cage. A oh, Wilson. Yeah. Now, the winner takes that back the home. The bird ball. The bird ball. The BB. The BB. <laughs> we'll leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. You, you, nobody knows something. I thought, you know, I really thought, I'm going to go on a limb. I thought, you know, the AD here, uh, Dennis Nelson, started it. But he said no. So <laughs> maybe maybe it was uh, maybe Patricia Benvenuto, the previous AD at Who Westwood. Who knows? Nobody wants to take. I think it's a great idea. I'll take credit for it. I agree. <laughs> I'll take credit. For it. <laughs> that's that's a, a football in prison. <laughs> Finally, look. He wants to fire. He's turning around. <clears throat> time. He has time. He has time. Now he has room. Oh, and he's still on his feet. Boy, he had a lot. My Ooh, goodness. He have time. Well, you had three uh, Cardinals collide in the middle. <laughs> well, that's it. You run around enough, you'll have people colliding. I'm trying to think. I think that was number 77 finally made the tackle. Sights, he was after yeah. him. They, they probably need a little rest. <laughs> well, that's it. You go wear the defense down doing that. Oh, he runs. A young man can move back there. Oh, he does. He's very, reminds me like <laughs> a couple weeks ago with the, um, your friend, Silianto from oh. uh, Mawa. He, he was running. Caliente, on. Saliente. Yeah, I know. Hot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they love that name up there. I know. I know they do. <laughs> They're waiting for the tape. <laughs> oh, head snap. Whoa. Oh. Boy, <laughs> Say, that's Baez. Baez. I'll tell you what, guys, you did an unbelievable job <laughs> to hold on to that ball. Baez was he was shot from a cannon that time. Yeah, he came right in. Guys, this is where you want to put the beer option attack, third and long. Make them a one-trick pony. Don't be surprised if they don't throw for it, Jimmy. Well, that's what you want them to do at this point. <laughs> but you need blocking right here. Everybody's got to stay in their lanes. I love that offense, though. Do, huh? Yeah, because everybody, one mistake can result in a touchdown. <laughs> That's another Yogi Berra so, statement. <laughs> third down and about 10 yards to go. Conlon calling signals underneath the center. Motion. <coughs> Hand off in the middle. Nothing. Not much. Now, Westwood should call a timeout. And Absolutely. They do. So Very Westwood good. calls a timeout with two minutes and 15 seconds to go. They call timeout. Hopkins made the big stop that time on the fullback. So now, Westwood will have one timeout and they should have the ball somewhere around the midfield. midfield. They're trailing 13 to seven. And as my partner, Adam in crime, in crime on, a... on the camera, Ricky Wojcicki said, and they get the ball the start of the second half. So you're gonna have two possessions here. They gotta make the most of it. Riverdale's gotta get a good kick here now. You slightly feel that Mojo is sliding over to the to the Cardinal, to well, the this, this is a game where you're gonna have highs and lows, and when you have your low, you gotta stay with it. We have, you know, Just, we have to find the Golden Hawk if they have one. I wonder if the the bad Cardinal mascot will fight the Hawk at the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they gotta use their, what do they call them? What are the, uh, the, the fingers for them? Uh, what do they call them? Claws? Ta 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 yeah, claws. Is, I was talking talent, talent. Talents? Talents, yes. Like me, talent? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Here Here's comes the your kick. High end over end. It will be. Morganson will have 
slips away from one and falls forward to the 43 yard line where the Cardinals will take over first and 10 with about two minutes and five seconds unofficially to go in the first half. They trail Riverdale 13 to seven. We'll see who's gonna be the quarterback here. Looks like it's going to be a bone. Hopkins will be the quarterback. Well, I see number five. He's out there, but Hopkins got the play from okay. Campanelli. You're right. Oh, yeah. Nice crowd here tonight. Huh? Excellent crowd. Uh, these two teams, they, they bring a lot of people. Oh, this is, they're close. This is real close. I think they, they may have a swimming team together, Westwood and uh, Riverdale. Am I correct? I don't know. If not, it sounds like a good idea it's for It's a great idea, John. <laughs> no, I think they do. Snap is back. Hopkins wants, throws. Has his man and the ball is dropped. Nice play out there by Fletcher, who knocked Saving. the ball away from, looked like Bellion. Yeah, he did a great job just playing center field, guys. It was deeper than a deepest receiver, just ran downhill. He caused the incomplete pass. Yeah, Good play. Gotta, hold on, great that's, throw. That's a great play because if Bellion keeps, catches that ball, I, that ball is inside the 20-yard line and he's running out of bounds. I think Jimmy over there, I was just watching, he was right there in the scene. He could have picked up and ran it the other way. <laughs> What a great spot he is. Look at him over there. I can see him. What do you think, Jimmy? Gonna run the ball back? Yeah, it's, you know, Westwood has found something out of his spread offense. They moved the ball well out of it the last drive, and I think that's what they might have settled on here. <coughs> Bounds back. <coughs> Looks, throws downfield. This could be intercepted. Oh, Fletcher had it through his hands. Ball was intended for Saunders, I believe. It looks like Saunders, yep. Saunders. yep. Yeah, that was a little bit high. <laughs> a little, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> for, for the defender. <clears throat> he was flat foot as he threw that ball. So 153, unofficial to go in the first half. And Riverdale is holding up very nicely here. So Morganson he, comes out to the right. He's going to be doubled, maybe triple teamed. Long count. <coughs> Hand off to Baez, and Baez hits the middle and gets to the 40-yard line. What a, what a stop in there. But you at 79. Let me see it getting up. Is it? I'm watching. Now, John, do you think Westwood's going to kick here? No. OK. <laughs> that was Posada. Posada made the stop. That was a pinhole. He got near pin for three points for Riverdale. Don't be surprised if Westwood doesn't run the clock down, call timeout, and punt. You well, see, now that's my philosophy. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I guess I'm old school. I think you know people. I'm getting old. I know that. My wife tells me all the time. But here's Westwood punting here now. You play field position, and Riverdale did a very nice job of getting stopping Westwood in their territory. You know, yeah, they had one incomplete pass, now, great defense. Now they will have the ball with about a minute to go. If the clock is correct. If the clock is correct. We'll find out, maybe Jimmy <laughs> can find out down here. Well, it's, it's going fast right now, it's yeah, under a minute. The clock was official up until a couple of seconds ago, it was about 55 <coughs> seconds. So we have 55, 54.9 <coughs> seconds Five to go. Five yard penalty against the uh, Cardinals. Well, I think uh, the coach wanted to back him. Want to back him up. Okay. Like make a pooch kick. You're right. So cycle will <coughs> kick to give him a little more room down here instead of pound it out of the end zone. Try to get him inside the ten. We'll see if this works. Everybody's in tie right now to make sure that no the kicker is not blocked. <laughs> Look at the guy. Ooh, great. High, high <laughs> kick coming down. Bouncing around and takes a westward roll and keeps rolling as the clock keeps ticking. And Westwood will let the referee stop it with 40.2 seconds unofficially to go here at Riverdale campus. They lead Westwood 13 to 7. You are watching WCTV, the all volunteer group from the township of Washington. Let's see if what he does. So we're deciding what play we want to run as coaches. No, they're going to take, then, a, take, take a knee. So that would be the uh, <coughs> would be the half. You won somebody, the first half. Unless Vito calls a timeout here. Well, the clock is running. Yeah. So the, I don't know if they have run another play. The clock's unofficial. It's running down to 20 seconds. 
Riverdale is uh, <laughs> looking at the clock. West was looking at Riverdale. We're looking at both of them. And they're setting up for another knee. They may, ha they may have to run one. <coughs> and there's the your knee. knee. That will do it. That will do the half. So it's been a very interesting half. Riverdale jumped out to a 13 to nothing lead. Westwood scored late in the first quarter. We are now 13 to seven. Westwood over Riverdale. It should be an outstanding <laughs> second half. You are watching WCTV, the all volunteer group from the township of Washington, Bergen County, New Jersey. And for those people on the internet, the United States of America. <laughs>
Chair of Health, Father Nestor Chair of Health.